your home office should be much more than just a desk and a chair. To create an effective space for work, you need to consider your physical and mental well-being. In this video, we're going to teach you how to set up your home office to maximize your productivity and feel good all day. We've also included links in this video's description to help you find everything you need quickly and easily. With the rise of remote work and the growing popularity of home-based businesses, the average American is spending more time in their home office than ever before. The way you set up your workspace can affect your productivity, health and mood. How you sit, stand and move can have a big impact on your comfort and ability to work. An ergonomic workstation is crucial to maintaining a neutral body position and therefore reducing the risk of discomfort or pain. Here's what you need to set up a workspace that fits and supports you best, based on advice from experts. A chair that is comfortable and will support your spine. Make sure you've got an office chair that allows you to sit comfortably with a good backrest. Does your lower and mid back feel cushioned, or are there gaps between your spine and the chair? The best office chairs support the natural S curve of your back. Poorly designed chairs feel more like you're sitting on a log against a hard wall. If your lower back isn't supported by the chair, you need lumbar support. If you're okay with your current office chair but want a more affordable upgrade, try a seat cushion or lumbar support pillow. A desk that's the right height for typing on your keyboard. When you type on a keyboard, your arms and wrists should be in a neutral position, parallel to the floor or angled down toward your lap. Standard desks are between 28 to 30 inches high, good for those who are 5 feet 10 inches, but not shorter adults. When typing at these desks, shorter people can't keep their arms parallel to the ground as is ideal. The easiest solution outside of replacing your desk is to adjust the height of your chair so your arms are parallel to the floor. If your feet don't rest flat on the floor when you raise your chair, you'll need a footrest to support your feet and legs, and keep your posture aligned. An external keyboard. Did you know that hand and wrist injuries are one of the most common problems people experience from using computers? When we use a computer for extended periods of time, our hands and wrists are in an unnatural position. This can lead to pain, fatigue, and stress in these areas of the body, or longer-term injuries like carpal tunnel. One way to reduce the risk of developing these types of injuries is to use an external keyboard. An external keyboard sits outside of your computer, so your hands and wrists are in a more natural position when you type. This can help prevent pain and fatigue in these areas, and ultimately help you stay healthy while using a computer for long periods of time. Using an external keyboard also increases your productivity by reducing accidental typing errors, and allowing you to better position yourself at your computer. An external mouse. If you use your laptop's touchpad too frequently, it can put stress on the muscles in your fingers and wrists, similar to how typing for long periods of time can cause pain or fatigue. Using an external mouse allows you to sit and operate your mouse naturally and comfortably. You should find a mouse that is comfortable in your hand and moves easily while you're working. Blue light glasses. Prolonged screen time can lead to eye strain, headaches, and neck pain. It can also cause dry eyes, blurry vision, and trouble focusing. Plus, if you're looking at screens, you may be exposing your eyes to harmful blue light. Blue light is a type of light that's emitted by electronic screens like computers, phones, and TVs. While some exposure to blue light is okay, too much can lead to eye strain, headaches, and even insomnia. One of the best ways to limit your exposure to blue light is to invest in a pair of blue light blocking glasses. These glasses help to filter out blue light, making it easier for your eyes to rest and preventing the potential for headaches and insomnia. Anything that reduces stress or creates good vibes. Here's the fun part. We've spent a lot of words on optimizing your home office for physical health, but we shouldn't forget about our mental wellness either. If you're a remote worker, you're probably spending more time in your home office than any other room in your house, and you should treat it that way. Decorate your office with photos of family and friends, posters or art, affirmations and mantras, a fun rug, or a houseplant. Get a candle you love, or an essential oil diffuser to make your home office smell like a dream or even try some crystals to channel abundance and prosperity. This part of your office setup is ultimately up to you, but don't forget to allow yourself some nice things that make you feel good, you deserve it. How to ergonomically set up your home office. Did you know that spending hours at a time hunched over your computer can lead to pain in your neck and back? When you're sitting in an unnatural position for long periods of time, your muscles get tired and start to ache. 
Tech neck, is what happens when we constantly look down at our phones, TVs and computers, it creates a downward tilt in our necks. Staring at screens for hours on end takes a toll on our bodies. The muscles in the back of our necks have to work harder than normal to support our heads, and over time, this can lead to fatigue, stress, and pain. Here's 6 tips for how to set up your home office and prevent tech neck. Position your computer screen at eye level. One way to help prevent tech neck is to position your computer screen at eye level. A monitor, versus using your laptop, can help you hear immensely. This will help you to maintain a more natural posture and reduce the amount of strain on your neck and shoulders. Use a laptop stand or a stack of books to raise the screen up. If you're using a laptop to work from home, you'll need to raise your screen up to align with your eye level. This will help to prevent neck and back pain by keeping the screen at a more natural height. In addition, it can also help to improve your posture and increase your productivity. You can do this by either using a stack of books to lift your laptop, or getting a laptop stand. Take breaks every hour to move around and stretch. It's no secret that sitting at a computer all day can be tough on your body. In fact, studies have shown that extended periods of sitting can lead to a number of health problems, including an increased risk of heart disease, obesity, and diabetes. Even if you don't have any pre-existing health conditions, sitting for long periods of time can still take a toll on your body. Over time, sitting in the same position can lead to muscle stiffness, soreness, and even injury. That's why it's so important to take breaks throughout the day to move around and stretch. Even if you're just getting up to walk around your home office or do a few simple stretches, those brief movements can make a big difference in how your body feels at the end of the day. Next time you find yourself stuck in front of your computer, remember to take a break and give your body a little love. Hydrate. One of the best things you can do to prevent health problems from working at a computer is to drink plenty of water. That may seem like an odd suggestion, but staying hydrated is crucial for maintaining healthy muscles and joints. When you're properly hydrated, your tissues are better able to withstand the repetitive motions of typing and clicking. So if you want to stay healthy and avoid injury, make sure you drink plenty of water every day. Your body will thank you for it. Check out the link in this video's description for our favorite motivational water bottle. Practice good posture, sit up straight, keep your shoulders down, and don't hunch over. You've probably heard it a million times, sit up straight. But it turns out, it's good advice. Good posture is important for overall health and well-being, and that's especially true when you're spending long hours working at a desk. Maintaining proper posture helps to reduce tension in the muscles and joints, preventing pain and fatigue. It also promotes better breathing and circulation, and can even improve your mental focus and concentration. Working from home definitely has its perks, but it's important to create an environment that promotes wellness and productivity. By following the tips in this video, you can set up a home office that supports your physical and mental health so that you can stay focused and motivated all day long. Check the links in this video's description for everything you need for your home office, and if you're looking for more ways to boost your productivity, stick around for our next video.